you know, because, you know, in, in Japan, they got an old say, first impression, last impression. So you set that precedent. That what destroyed that other girl career, uh, Missy Hyde. She sued the WWE, uh, uh, w, WCW. Uh, WCW. And I remember these are Vince McMahon words. Me and Tony Roman, the Boston bad boy, and Bill Silverman. Bill Silverman was a referee at that Billy time. Silverman. Bill, yep. Billy Silverman. Billy Silverman. So Bill had brought us as his guest because he was refereeing in that night. So I was talking to Vince and everything. He was glad to see me and all this and that stuff. And he talked to Tony. He knew who Tony Rummer was, yep. which surprised me. He walked up and said, hey, Tony, you know, you're doing a great job. Vince knew Tony Rummer, which mm -hmm. really shocked me. So then Missy Howe walked by. Vince went to Tony Guerrero, one of the agents. They said, <laughs> they said get that B out of here before she slip onto the banana peel and sue all of us. So what she did to WCW made Vince McMahon afraid to have her around him. Never used her. Well, Never you know what? Her. Outside of a short one TV taping span in 1987, but that was right. long before Never, that's her right. lawsuit. Because of that lawsuit. Because, it, because this conversation, you know, a cheater is always a cheater. A rapist is always a rapist. You know, once a person showed that character to you, I, 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 I don't know if, I, I want to say, I don't think it's good for Rick. Because who would trust him? I mean, go to this other organization, and if he'd be successful there, some people make a living out of this. They I sure do. I was in New York. It happened to me one time. Someone sued you? Well, yeah, what the guy would do, he would stand on the corner. Mm -hmm. there. I saw him stand on the corner, and the light turned green, and I pulled off, and he jumped up on my hood. He took a bump. Jumped up on my freaking hood and lay there. So, you know, I got to stop. Did he sue you? Yeah, he got money out. Yeah, From who? Money. You were the insurance company. It got money out of me. I, I paid them so, so that they don't... Because we didn't want it. I was a wrestler. So we didn't want the publicity. So the guy said, oh, uh, just give him a couple of bucks. He'll leave you alone. How much did you have to pay him? I, I gave him, I, I him 2500 25 to go Four. away? Yeah. And yeah. nothing was wrong with him? He no. just took a bump on your hood? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where was this? New York, you said? New York, Manhattan, yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Scumbag. You know where for the, uh, we said the Ramada Inn? Yeah. Well, there's a good rise was underneath the Ramada Inn there. And, you know, right by the gym. Yep, the, the, yep. You're right. And as I pulled out to, to make that right to go up 8th Street to get what they call the, uh, what they call the place, um, well, hell on, um, West Side Highway. Cause we, cause we had a show in Hartford, Connecticut. Mm -hmm. No, we were going upstate New York. I'm sorry. Because we used to do Madison Square Garden, and then, then we go upstate New York. So we, we, we would drive to a place called Utica to check in, and the first show we did was uh, 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 Buffalo. Mm -hmm. And then we did Syracuse, Rochester, yep. and then we finished up in Troy, New York. And after Troy, New York, we did uh, uh, Hartford, Connecticut, or even New Haven, Connecticut. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we worked our way back. Yep. And uh, I, I, was, I was going out to, to, uh, to do a show, you know, and uh, the guy jumped right up on my hood. He didn't even know you were a wrestler. No, nope. and that, so his lawyer called me and said, look, Said, Tony, you knew you got a good name? I think he did. You think he knew you were? Oh, well, how would he have known you were going to be coming out at that time to jump on your hood? Well, they, they, all the, the, the fans knew more about what the rest would do back then than we did. Okay. They knew what hotel we was at. When I walk in, the fans were already there. Because we stayed in the same hotel right. every... It was the Ramada Inn. That was the hotel that, that we stayed in. It was the Howard Johnson in Pittsburgh. All the fans knew where we stayed in Pittsburgh. In Allentown, it, it was the George Washington. So it ain't like we stayed in different hotels like they do now. Right. But it was always the same hotel. That, that, because we got a good rate there and it took care of the boy. So it, you know, every territory had the hotel where the boy would stay and restaurants where we all ate at. So, so they, they kind of knew. But he threw himself right up on my hood and laid right in front of my car. I had to wait there and for the cop. On the scrotum was sweating bullets because uh, S.D. Jones was at the show and I'm not there. And, as they thought he had to take my place, and they thought I'm going to stand him up, and all this that stuff. Then finally, I showed up. And with Donnie Scoland? The way Scoland was mad. Was Vince he with was you? Mad. Yeah, Vince was mad. No, no Scoland was, wasn't with me. Well, you were alone. No, no, I was with this girl called Lori Lescook. She was, she was out of L.A. Uh, she was my... One of the feet women. No, she was my wife at that, that time. She wasn't a wife. She was my second wife. My second wife, yeah. That marriage only lasted about... Two to three years. Yeah. It didn't last. It wasn't a lot of, what you call it, 
It's more like party, we party a lot, you know, a whole lot we party. A little gimmick. Oh, yeah, we have a lot of gimmick. Time. We have good time. But no walking. See, see, there was some walking going there on. Was there was a whole walking. lot of other stuff, too, right. was going on, too. I mean, we was, we was out there at that time. Foley. This is Harley Race. This is Shelton Benjamin. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. This is the Monster Abyss. And this is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL and you're watching the MWF. Be there live.